tu ne jo laila fil nahar you make the night enter into day wa tu ne jo nahar fil layl and you make the na- the day enter into night that is you make the night longer so that the day is becoming shorter and the reverse of it the day is become lo- becoming longer so that the night is becoming shorter it is as if night is entering the day and the day is entering the night tulajul laila fil nahar wa tulajul nahar fil layl wa tukhrijul hayya min al mayyit min al mayyit wa tukhrijul mayyit min al hayy and you raise the living from the dead and the dead from the living wa tarzuqu man tasha bi ghairi hisab and you give and you provide to whom you to whom you like without any wager or account la yattakhidhu al mu'minun al kafirin awliya min dun al mu'minin the believer shouldn't take friends shouldn't make friends with kafirin with kuffar with the non believers in preference to the believers wa may yafal zalik whosoever will do will take to this attitude will adopt this attitude for laysa min allah fi shay he has no connection whatsoever with allah illa an tattaqu minhum tuqa except that you have to guard yourself against them as you have to guard you know if you think that somebody can do you harm and you are polite with him only due to save yourself from his harm is something else but to have real love real friendship with the non muslims it doesn't be, it doesn't behove of a muslim it doesn't become of a muslim muslims should have muslims as their friends muslims should try to make friends among the muslims لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين اولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء then he will have nothing to do with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatsoever illa an tattaqu minhum tuqa except that if you have to to be polite with them only to save yourself from their harm wa yuhazzirukum allah nafsahu wa ila allah almaseer and allah is warning you to beware of him to be aware of allah's allah's punishment wa yuhazzirukum allah nafsa wa ila allah almaseer and towards allah is going to be your return qul in tuqfu ma fi sudurikum aw tudduhu now this is the same subject which was in the last section of surah al baqarah in tuqfu ma fi sudurikum whether you hide or conceal whatever is in your in your chest and hearts aw tudduhu or whether you announce it ya alam allah allah knows it allah's knowledge doesn't depend on what you are saying allah knows what is there in your hearts wa ya alam ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard and he knows whatever is in the in the heavens and whatever is on the earth wa ma allahu ala kulli shay'in qadeer and allah is powerful on everything yawma tajidu kullu nafsin ma amilat min khairin muhdara the day that is the day of judgment when every soul will be confronted with whatever it had done yawma tajidu kullu nafsin ma amilat min khairin muhdara it will be present before it it will find before it whatever it had done wa ma amilat min su whatever good it had done it will find before it whatever bad it had earned whatever evil it had earned it will find before it Every soul with very much long, that there would have been very long distance between him and the and the bad deeds. But you have the rukum of Allah. Again, the same words. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is warning you to beware of him. Wallahu rauhum bil ibad, and Allah is very kind. with the people qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni a very important ayah tell them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you want to love allah in kuntum tuhibbun allah if you really love allah fattabi'uni then follow me yuhibbukum allah what will be the result allah will love you now these two words are different and please note them here to obey muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to follow muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is a difference between the two obedience is to a command 
when he has expressly said do it and you are doing it it is obeying when he has expressly said don't do it and you are refraining from it then you are obeying but you know he has not said anything but you find what he is doing and you try to copy him that is following is at a higher level he has not commanded you to do it but you see him doing something and you are copying him you are following him without any express command from him this is ittiba and that is ita obedience ita ita is essential for every muslim but ittiba is the higher level spiritual level it's a very high spiritual level so you will find here in two ayat first of all ittiba and then the ita both things are discussed here قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ Tell them if you love Allah, so follow me. This is ittiba, the higher level. That is why the result is يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ You will become the beloved of Allah. You are loving Him. Now you are the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the result of ittiba. بَيَقْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And whatever be your mistakes and sins, He will forgive you. Wallahu ghafuru rahim. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Qul ati'u Allah wa rasul. Now here is ita'ah. Tell them you have to obey anyhow. Allah as well as his messenger. Fa'in tawallah fa'in Allah la yuhibu al-kafirin. And if they turn away, Allah doesn't like this kuffar. To refuse to obey Muhammad is kuffar. So that is the basis. You have to obey him anyhow. Whether you like the order or command or not, you have to obey. This is the fundamental requirement of being a Muslim. But if you go higher, if you want to go higher up, then you see whatever he has been doing and you try to follow it. Follow his example that this is the higher level and that is for his tabah. Inna Allah has tafa Adam wa Nuhan wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibran ala al-Alamin. We shall translate this next ayat in the next session, but please, the few minutes that we have, let me give you the uh, introduction about these ayat now. I told you that the first half of this surah Al Imran can be divided into two, three portions. The first portion ends at the ayah number 32 that we have completed. Second section is starting from ayah number 33 and it will go to ayah number 64, 31, 32 ayat. Now these ayat were revealed in the ninth year after Hijrah, very far off. The rest of the whole surah was revealed in the third year after Hijrah. But these 30 or more ayat, they were revealed in the ninth year after Hijrah. When a deputation of the ulama, of the knowledgeable person, people who are very high in hierarchy, religious hierarchy, of the Christians of Najran. Najran was a Christian colony in the, on the southern side of Hijaz. And there the Christians were living. And from there a deputation of their ulama and their The high priests, they came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the ninth year after Hijrah. And there was a dialogue. There was a the dialogue about the beliefs of Islam. And you know, at that time, these ayat were revealed. But they have been placed in this Quran, in Surah Al-Imran Bhai, to became, to, so that it should become similar to Surah Al-Baqarah. Because in Surah Al-Baqarah, the discussion was with, with the Jews. Ya Bani Israel, al-Quru, ni'mati yallat yadam tu alaykum. Here this is the second individual of the pair. The pair you know of Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Imran. And you know the other group of Ahle Kitab is the Christians. So here in this Surah Al-Mubarakah, the discussion with regarding the Christians and their beliefs that has been placed here, although it was revealed much later than the rest of the Surah Al-Imran. So here, you know, we will find very good discussion about who Jesus was, what was his real position, how he was Mary, and actually then the parallel case of Hazrat Yahya alayhi salatu was salam, Hazrat Zakriya, all these things we find also in the Bhakti Quran in Surah Al-Maryam. But here, you know, special occasion, you know, that demanded that these things should be in a fresh way, they should be discussed when those people came for for discussion and dialogue and argument with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So these ayat are revealed, were revealed in the ninth year after hijrah and we shall study them in the next session inshallah. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakeem.